I'm Ariel, curated expert, and I've helped hundreds of people find the perfect gear for them. And today I got to ride the Women's Never Summer Harpoon. And my initial impression was that I'm pretty freaking stoked. Just so you all know, we are not sponsored by any brands and all of these reviews are completely unbiased. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button to hear more reviews from all of these great curated experts. There was a little bit of hype personally around this board because it used to just be made for men and now they made it in more female friendly sizes. It is almost identical to the men's version and it rips. I got to take it out on, in some powder. I got to take it in some trees. It's a little bit shorter than what I would normally ride because you are able to size this board down a couple centimeters. So for me, that means quick turn edge to edge, really great floatability because it does have a little bit wider of a waist width. So it's super nimble, super stable. And honestly, it just felt like a surfboard on the snow, which I know there are a lot of boards out there that will say that, but for me, this is the first board I've ever ridden where I've truly felt like I was surfing on the snow. For me, I think this long spoon-shaped nose was really what helped me feel like I was surfing on the snow. It kind of gives you that lift and you're just floating right on top of that snow line the same way you would be kind of on like the face of a wave, the whitewash of a wave, and it really just floated. And then on the groomers, it was super locked in. The edge control was crazy. I never felt unstable whatsoever. And with a shorter board, sometimes that's a little bit in your head. And on this thing, not an issue. I would highly recommend this board for almost any type of rider, ability-wise, I do think a beginner could get on this board, but because it is such a specific kind of board and definitely excels in certain conditions more than others, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a quiver killer. So for a beginner rider, I would probably say there are other boards that might be maybe a twin shape or maybe a little bit of a softer flex because this board is a little bit stiffer, but that doesn't mean a newer snowboarder couldn't test a board like this out. That being said, I would say the perfect rider for this is an intermediate to advanced rider who tends to spend a lot of time in softer snow, in powder, maybe likes to rip the trees as well because it is a little bit shorter, quicker to maneuver. What I really liked was that it was also really, really playful. I was able to butter it. I was able to press. That flex didn't really affect me. It definitely is not a soft flexing board but it's a very playful flexing board. It's very forgiving, very lightweight, and really just wants to have a blast on the mountain when the conditions are there. If you're just doing a groomer day, I wouldn't recommend this board. Like I said, I think there are others that could kind of give you a little bit more. There is a little bit of pop in this board, but it wasn't the poppiest board I've ever been on. And I wouldn't necessarily use this as my park dominant board. Doesn't mean you couldn't send it over some jumps, doesn't mean you can't take it on some features, but I definitely would pick some other boards for that realm of riding. This shorter, wider, more volume shifted board is in this flex is especially, is one of the most unique boards that I've gotten to ride. Like I said, sometimes you feel like you're gonna lose that stability, but because of the flex, I think it, it really nailed everything for me that I was concerned about on this board. And really the only place I wouldn't really take it is the park. So if you are a rider like me that doesn't spend that much time in the park, lives out in more of the, the Rockies or more West where we do get a lot of snow and you kind of just have those empty refills, like this board's gonna float right on top. It's gonna make you feel like you're surfing on that snow and you are going to have a blast. If you want help finding your next board, click the link in the description and I'll help you find your next setup.